Okay, I have two Laplace transform questions on the spot. The first one, the Laplace transform of sine t times cosine t, and the second one, the Laplace transform of sine t star cosine t. And this right here is the convolution. Anyway, which one do you think is easier? Well, these questions can be easy, or they can be hard. The hard part is that we don't know the easy part, right? So let's talk about this one right here first. Well, do not do the integral definition for the convolution, because we can use the convolution theorem. When you have the convolution, instead of the Laplace, this is going to be the Laplace transform of the first, which is just the sine t. And you close that, and you are going to multiply by the Laplace of the second, which is the cosine t. All right? And you see, this right here is just a regular multiplication. And right here, we can just go ahead and do the Laplace of sine 1t. Well, we have 1 on the top over s squared plus 1 squared, which is the same as 1. And we multiply the Laplace transform of cosine 1t. We will have an s on the top over s squared plus 1 squared, which is, again, 1. And of course, at the end, we can multiply them together. 1 times s is s on the top over this times that. We have s squared plus 1, and then square. And this right here is it. Okay? And now, let's talk about how we can do the Laplace transform of sine t times cosine t. Well, when we have a regular multiplication, instead of the Laplace transform, there's no good formula we can use, right? And this is not like a particular function. This is just sine t, and this is not like cosine t. Well, when we have sine, cosine, of course, we should utilize the identities. This right here, it seems really close to the double angle formula, right? So we are going to use this one. Sine 2t is going to be what? 2 sine t cosine t, isn't it? Well, I want to look for sine t cosine t, so let's go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 2, like that, right? So that they cancel. Anyway, this is the same as saying the Laplace transform. And let me just put the one half in the front, like this. And then we have the sine 2t, like that, right? And now, you see that we still have that one half. And this is just a constant multiple. That's why I put on multiplying, all right? And we have to do the Laplace of sine 2t. Well, we have to have that 2 on the top. So 2 over s squared plus this 2 squared, right? So 2 squared, like that. OK, this 2 and that 2 cancel out. So we have just, we'll show you cancellation, just 1 on the top over this and that. Well, this is s squared. This is not 5 squared, right? So just s squared, as how it is. Plus 2 squared, which is 4, like that. And we are done for this as well. Anyway, which one did you guys like better? Let me know. Bye.